On behalf of Mayor Leslie Warren, welcome to all of you. She's sorry she's unable to be here for this event, but she here at City Hall, we want to do something to show our appreciation for the contribution of the deaf residents here in Rochester, New York. And we salute you. Thank you. <laughs> Rochester has an active and vibrant deaf community for a long time. It's one of the things about this city that makes it unique. Deaf Awareness Week provides a wonderful opportunity for everyone in Rochester to get to know more about our deaf and hard of hearing neighbors and friends. And it gives the people in this city and in the deaf community a chance to celebrate and share their many talents. Thank you <laughs> to the Rochester Recreation Group Club, I'm sorry, for the deaf and for the many other groups have contributed to the Rochester deaf culture and to the celebration of the International Deaf Awareness Week. Thank you. <laughs> we will run this flag up the pole for the week and hope that it serves as an invitation for people who want to learn more about Rochester's deaf culture and community. We'll also be putting up a notice on our web page with resources for the deaf to encourage them to check out the many opportunities available to them this week. I understand we have some people here from our deaf community who would like to share a few thoughts before we raise this flag. Please do so. Hi, my name is Fred Beam. This is my sign. I'm the chairperson of the Rochester Deaf Awareness Week. I thank you so much for supporting and then coming from the mayor's office this wonderful support because without your support, we would not be able to exist. We love the partnership together because together we can work to do more things as a community of people. This flag symbolizes our unity in the community and we want to grasp that advancement and to hope that both the communities in the deaf and hearing communities to make this a special thing. Because the history of Rochester, for the first time in the history of the community, a flag has been raised to show the support for the international deaf awareness. And Rochester is the first community to have that. <laughs> so I'm going to pass this off. Hello, everyone. My name is Walter. I am president of RRCD, the Rochester um, Recreation Club for the Deaf. I want to thank the mayor for allowing us to come here to see this flag raise. Plus, many thanks to Fred, our chairperson for the special Deaf Awareness Week events. And we have many thanks to pass to all of you, for all of you who have our Recreation Club members, who are not yet members, we certainly uh, welcome you to this community and we look forward to uh, a great week. Don't forget to look at uh, our website to see the list of the events that are going on all week. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Great. So, hello, my name is Guillaume Chantel. I'm a member of the uh, deaf community here in Rochester. I wanted to speak briefly about the flag itself. Who came up with this idea and what is its meaning? Andre Pollard is a deaf blind person from France who has studied all over the world, 2,000 flags all over the world, and the purpose of color and symbols and design and history to think about ideas to develop a world symbol for deaf culture. There are three col colors in the flag. Turquoise represents the community of the world, deaf community, as a collaborative, as Fred mentioned, and Walter has mentioned, we are a collaborative community. Yellow is for hope, a vision of the future to inspire people. Dark blue. Humanity, 
justice and equality and collaboration. That's the idea behind that color. And you will see the shapes of how those, like a hand, like a sign of a hand. So the deaf blind also have tactile communication and it represents the inclusion of all those aspects of the deaf community. Thank you all so much. Wonderful. Let's raise the flag. Say amen for me. Amen. Thank you.